Hello, fellow robots out there in internet land. I am Sobertron, and welcome to the first episode of my new series, which I am calling For Science. So, a little backstory. Uh, when I was alpha and beta testing uh, Tango Tech's custom villager mod, Techtopia, which you should check out, it's really fun. Um, when I was alpha and beta testing, I discovered I had a knack for breaking things or causing unexpected things to happen or kind of manipulating the game in a way that Tango didn't like. Uh, so he would fix it and then I'd break it again because it was fun and that's what I enjoyed doing. So what we're going to do today is we are going to try and break a portion of Techno Techtopia dealing with the Necromancer. So the Necromancer has a bit of math behind his uh, spawn mechanic. So basically, uh, you take one divided by one divided by the square root of your village population. So if you have 100 villagers, one divided by square root of 100, which is 10, so 10%. You also get a bonus 2% if it is nighttime. So if you have 100 villagers and it's night, you have a 12% chance of the necromancer spawning. But what we're really trying to see is how far can we push this. So if you have 500 villagers, which is going to start to lag your game pretty bad. Uh, it ends up being a 22.3%. If you if it's nighttime, it'll be 24.3. But the goal is to get somewhere around a thousand villagers. I hope my computer can handle it. I might have to change some things and uh, the dedicated memory to Minecraft. But we'll get there if it needs to happen. But if you have a thousand villagers, it's gonna be a 31.6%. Or if it's nighttime plus two, it'll be a 33.6. So about every third. Now the necromancer has a chance to spawn in the game every three minutes. So every three minutes, you can get a, you know, it's a random chance based off of that, uh, that multiplier, essentially. So if we get up to that thousand villager mark, we should be getting a necromancer every nine minutes. Hopefully. We're going to see. We're going to test. We're going to do stuff. Uh, but I need to, I need to do some stuff. I need to build things. There's nothing here. I need to build a town hall. I need to build some barracks for these guys to live in. Probably storage, tavern, library, just all that general stuff you want in your village. So I'm going to build all that stuff, get ourselves uh, a nice start, and I will be back with you shortly. I've spent some time building some stuff and some things, mostly stuff and nasty things. It's just a bunch of iron boxes. That's all it is. Um, we've got our town hall right here in the middle. I've also gone ahead and made a storage, and we have fully stocked this with all the things our guards are going to need. All the helmets and chest pieces, pants and boots, and then there's food over there, golden apples, and sword. swords are there. So we've got enough right now to make 54 uh guards so it's going to be a slow tedious process to do all this i've also got two taverns right now they are completely just filled to the brim with chairs so we can fit 120 uh guards in each one of these i figured i wanted something to let them be a little bit happy uh we also have a library i need to still put bookshelves in there uh but yeah we also have so each of these corner ones are two barracks on top of each other they are identical on the inside of all this except for that one because i forgot to put it's there ignore that <laughs> um so 10 beds some armor stands so these guys can train and get a little bit of level uh so let's let's start doing this okay we've already got everything active we've got nomads and the merchant showing up so we got to do this a little bit slow because i don't want the uh, craziness to happen in the storage room. So we're just going to count probably 10 at a time, let them move off, and then do another thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now all these guys are going to find a bed. They're going to go into the storage and upgrade all their things. Let's do 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need to do that 10 more times because we have enough, or soon have enough for 120 guards. So I'm going to do all this, and then we're going to get to the testing portion and see how long it takes for a necromancer to spawn. And I'm back, guys. Uh, it wasn't the greatest test, I will say that. Uh, let me explain a little bit first. So I semi-AFK'd for two hours. I actually was building all these other structures out here. I'm going to call that the middle ring, because there will be one more eventually. So the middle ring. Um, so over the course of two hours while I was building those, uh, I only got two necromancers to spawn. Uh, the first one took about 45 minutes, and then about 40 minutes after that, another one came in, which isn't the greatest uh, percentage. I thought it would have been a little bit higher than that, but interesting enough, I logged off after that, and now I'm back a few days later. Um, and right away, about two minutes into logging in, we got another Necromancer. Um, so what I've done is I've built more barracks, so each one of these is going to be you know, two more barracks, top and bottom. And then the ones in the corners are actually four bedroom houses. There's two on every floor. And we are going to make some clerics. I've actually already made eight. Uh, we're going to have a total of 64 clerics. 
five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16. So that's a quarter of what we need. Um, once this next layer is done, we will have 424 total villagers, most of them being guards. Uh, I think 360 of them will be guards. Um, so 424 total, which will more than double our spawn chance right now. Uh, with the guards only before I made these clerics, it was 10%, and now we're going to be at 20.5%. Uh, so I'm going to continue this slow, tedious process because these guards take a minute to uh, get geared up in the storage. Uh, so I'll be back in a little while. I'm going to do a bit more testing, see how often we can get the Necromancer to spawn. Uh, but I'll be back. So it's about three hours later, and we still haven't had all that much success with the Necromancer spawn rates. Uh, it took me three hours to build these 20... Well, actually, it's like 40 because it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 stuff and things. Barracks. That's it. Barracks. Uh, so I built five more buildings on each side. Each one has two barracks inside of it. So we should be able to increase our village. Uh, and I say village loosely because it's just guards and clerics. I'm supplying them with everything else. Uh, so we should add another 400 guards to this. So it, it will bring our grand total up to 824. But there have been a couple of things I've been noticing at nighttime because that's when most mobs spawn. Uh, what tends to happen is all the guards are kind of just doing their thing in the middle. They have really no purpose in life right now. So as soon as one of them sees a zombie, like they are over there, uh, they swarm. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of insane. Uh, let me try to replicate. Let me. Oh, you can actually... What the heck is happening right now? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is nuts. But let me, uh, let me try to do this uh, and show you just how nuts these... Uh, these guards get when they see a zombie. So let me plop one down. Let's just right there. There you go. And they all just instantly mass on where the zombies placed. There's another one and they all come right towards it. It's kind of fun to watch. I actually had to increase my uh my RAM on uh on this version of Minecraft uh because the game was lagging much worse than it is right now. The other thing I noticed is that Something I didn't know was the guards' weapons actually degrade over time as they are training inside uh, the barracks. If they are using those armor stands, uh, their weapons will start to take damage, which is something I didn't know. I didn't realize that that was a thing. So if you wonder what's going on, why your guards' weapons are taking damage, that's why. They are training inside the barracks, and it will cause their weapons to uh, be damaged. But over the last three hours, which is how long it took me to build all of those things, because I don't have world edit, because I don't know why, because, yeah, I should have done that, but we're just going to fly with it. Um, over the last three hours, I've only had two necromancers spawn. One spawned in about an hour and 25 minutes after uh, the last clip, and then another one about two hours and 21 minutes after that uh, total, so another about hour later. And that's still not good. We want necromancer spawning as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add in the 400 more guards, 20 per building, which will bring us up to 824. I haven't done the math on that, but it's probably close to 30%. Maybe. I don't know. Math, math is things and stuff. <laughs> stuff and things. Uh, so I'm going to add in all those guards. It's going to take me a little bit because I can only support about 100 at a time inside our storage building. Uh, you can see they are, yeah, that's, that's nuts. That is something that is very cool to watch. But I will add all those guys in, and we will see if we can get a Necromancer spawning more consistently. And if not, there's always commands. So, we will see what happens. And I will probably use commands nonetheless, just because I want to see how many, uh, Necromancers our village can take. But I will be back with you guys in a moment, uh, once I have all that done. So, it's another few hours later, and I've done a couple more things. You can see our, uh... Our game's getting very, very uh, kind of laggy. You can see the, the guards aren't really moving all that well. Um, I've actually gone ahead and I've added more villagers than I thought. So I did build two more uh, buildings on each side with two barracks each. So we are up to 984 total villagers here, which is a little bit insane, and that's why all of this is happening. I've actually turned down my render distance. Um, I put some uh, guard posts out near the corners as well, and I've lit the whole thing up because... I'm only really concerned about uh, necromancers. I don't care about zombies or anything else, so uh, it just makes it a little bit more friendly on my on my system right now to to not have to deal with other mobs. Uh, but we're still not getting 
the rates I want to see. We're not getting uh, like a necromancer every, you know, even six or ten minutes. I did another three hour test. I only got three necromancers in that time. So now uh, it's time for some developer commands. So if you use this command here, village raid, uh, it will just spawn a necromancer in, and it should spawn one in uh, comparable to your village size. Uh, since there's only a level five necromancer, that's what we're going to get. But why only do one? You don't want just one necromancer raiding your village. You wanna, you wanna see what happens when you have just. Uh, wait, what? Let's try that again. Ooh. Maybe we have too many. How many did we get? Only four. Huh. Interesting. Oh, three of them. Ooh, this might be a little. This might be a little bit rough, but as you can see, these, these first guards, uh, they see them, they go right for them, and then the army of guards starts coming through. It's really fun to watch uh, from up above over here, because you just see them just filling in all the space. Look how slow they're moving. My system is, is really not liking this right now. But our guards make quick work of them. They don't seem to, to suffer all that much. Uh, it, the one thing I have noticed, it doesn't uh, look like they're hitting... Uh, the mobs sometimes. I think it's just because they're having tr my system's having trouble rendering stuff in right now, uh, which is very interesting. Like it looks like they're attacking that necromancer, but nothing's nothing's really happening. Uh, it, it, this was fun. This was a fun test. It was fun to just to kind of take the mod, <laughs> take the mod to its full extent, and and see what we can do uh, with it. Uh, there's probably another necromancer somewhere around here. Yep, there he is. He's just kind of chilling. Nobody, nobody even cares about him right now. <laughs> the one thing I don't like is that guards at guard posts will leave their uh, their post essentially to try to go after that dude way over there. Um, and it could have actually it probably happened over there too. Uh, there were eight guard posts over there, and they just said, "Nope, we don't care about that guy. These guys are under attack right now." But it's really interesting. I really enjoyed doing this. You know, let's let's do a few more. See if uh, maybe, oh, that's why I added a T. Let's just keep on going, see what happens. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This might not be good for us. That is really interesting that they kind of all spawned in like that, too. Okay, this is kind of scary now. This is really scary. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm generally having fun with this, guys. This is really cool to watch. Just that whole army of of guards coming over to take on this undead swarm. Oh, this is so enjoyable. <laughs> I'm really... I never thought I would do this before, but it just... Wow. It's just so fun to see. They're, they're not even... They're not even really uh, all that concerned. They're just doing their thing. This is great. This is really great. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm generally, like, just... Uh, this expression. I did not expect this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at, he's dancing. Oh, it's so good. That necromancer is so bugged out right now. He doesn't know what's going on. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough of that, guys. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> a river... A river of guards. It's probably a little bit overkill. Uh, I don't really think you need that many guards, but it's fun. And this is what I like doing. I like just having fun with this mod. It's so great. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I really <laughs> enjoyed making it. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on other things you want me to, to break in Tectopia uh, or other mods, I'm really interested in that. I'm not really all that into other mods, but if you give me something, you have an idea, you want me to try to break it like I have broken this game right now in front of you, just... Let me know. Shoot it down in the in the comments down below, and I'll I'll take a look and see what I can do. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as I've enjoyed making it, uh, and I'll see you next time.